the Pass. Love the Pass. Guard our Freedom. Amen. Do you know, you've probably heard the number 4,000 scientists. Rajendra Pakari, the chairman of the IPCC, the body on which the Labor government and the Greens based their climate plans, policies. He claimed, and it was echoed by Kevin Rudd, then Prime Minister, that 4,000 scientists state global warming is real and it's due to human production of carbon dioxide. When you look at the actual figures from the United Nations, five reviewers endorsed that claim. Not 4,000 scientists, five reviewers. A blatant falsity from the very top of the UN's climate body that is the basis of the government's climate plans spread by the very top of the Rudd-Gillard government. How did they do this? I think what you'll see from Joe's presentation is that you can't just look at the science. They've used all kinds of tricks. <clears throat> I did an analysis of some of Al Gore's work. The British High Court ruled it a political work, an inconvenient truth, with numerous factual inaccuracies. Marlo Lewis, you can get this paper on the web, it's a, he did a congressional working paper in 2007. The number of wrong statements, he analysed the book on which the movie was based. The number of wrong statements or false statements, 19. The number of misleading statements, 17. The number of exaggerated statements, 10. The number of one-sided statements, 25. The number of speculative statements, 28. Complete nonsense. So how did they do it? Well, Moncton, he's found 35 serious scientific errors and distortions in that movie. And Viscount Moncton's published that for anyone to have a look at. I did the study of an inconvenient truth over several weeks. I watched it eight times. Sometimes it took me eight to ten hours to watch it once. I went forward slowly, went back, went forward, counted the number of things I saw. And, and it had no lasting effect on me at all. <laughs> 254 images of natural and everyday events falsely depicted as unnatural and inf inferred to be caused by global warming. What happens at the end of winter to ice? And it forms drips. Now if you go through an inconvenient truth, you'll see water dropping from ice. But you'll see, you'll hear in the background stuff about global warming. And people associate the two. It's a complete scam. 71 images and instances of unscientific, unfounded mixing of projections with actual data to imply future climate. No scientific basis. 59 instances of comments or images out of context or misrepresenting reality. This is in 90 minute movie. 74 instances of using the crowd effect to make sure people think that there's, there's a wave going on and we can't be left behind. Do you know how much valid supporting data there is supporting the movies claim that human production of carbon dioxide caused global warming? Have a guess. None. Not one bit. That movie was funded, produced by very successful Hollywood movie producers who are adept at getting people to suspend reality. And that's what people did. It was a complete propaganda snow job. It was backed by Paramount Pictures. The number of I statements in that movie, 25, 15 in the first 30 minutes. That was a movie about Al Gore. The number of times in a movie on climate that Al Gore discussed his own pain five times. Family issues. Why? I'll tell you why in a minute. Showing him traveling 20 times. Showing him in airports nine times. Showing him busy on the laptop computer nine times. In a non-political film that he said in the movie was non-political, it had ten swipes at his opposition politicians. When I went through, you can't see the details on this, but when I went through the movie, I looked at the number of times certain emotions appeared. 
in the first 15 minutes, there was a lot of emotion and a lot of belonging to get us all in. In the next 15 minutes, a lot of fear and care. <clears throat> in the next 15, fear and emotion. What happens to logical reasoning when we're emotional? See how they do it? The next thing, next 15 minutes, a lot of fear, a lot of fear. In 15 minutes, 33 instances of it. And a lot of care. In the next 15 minutes, a heck of a lot of guilt. So what they do is the emotion, suspend reality, tie into your care, give you guilt so that you take responsibility, and then they finish with lots of emotion and belonging to pull you back in. And that's how that was done. And Al Gore was brought out here before the 2007 election by the Labour Party. Will Stephan, Joe Nova put up a, a, a number there, 31,000 scientists signed a petition. I listened to Will Stephan answer a question on that. Do you know what he said? There is not one credible scientist amongst that lot. He doesn't seem to understand that Dick Lindzen is one of the most eminent meteorologists on this planet and contributed to the IPCC report. He doesn't understand there are many scientists, but yet he had the hide to say that. He's on the Climate Commission paid by your taxes, misrepresenting the facts, spreading a lot of guilt and fear. And what does guilt and fear do to kids? It corrodes their spirit. What does it do to adults? Corrodes their spirit. And every one of you showed us that you care. Look at the lady who was just up here. Not paid a cent. That's real care. She didn't have to guilt trip you. She didn't have to scare you. She just presented the facts. The next person who you're going to hear from is David Evans. Now David Evans is known for his intelligence, for his five or six degrees, how many? Six. PhD for, for, from Stanford University. An internationally eminent climate scientist told me personally a few weeks ago that David is perhaps one of the top five computer modelers in the world. He is outspoken, he's direct. You know where you stand with David. And there's that word again, strength of character. David believed this global warming nonsense. And then he worked out it wasn't true. So what did he do? He was actually being paid by people supporting global warming. He didn't, he didn't keep taking the checks. He put his hand up and went public and said it's wrong. Another thing that David knows a lot about is finance. And if you haven't read an article of his, it's about 35 pages long, but it's well worth reading on the finance and the links there. So what you'll see next is a highly intelligent, highly qualified man who's done his work, who has admitted that he was on the side that he thought was scientific and is not, shown his strength, and is now going to share that with you. David? micro-thin half-truths, exaggerations, misunderstandings. I'm a scientist. I was on the, gravy, the carbon gravy express. I understand the evidence. I used to be an alarmist, now I'm a sceptic. I'm going to talk to you for just a few minutes about how we got here, and then I'm going to switch to PowerPoint and show you some evidence. The idea that carbon dioxide is the main cause of global warming is based on a guess. It was proved false by empirical evidence in the mid-1990s. But by then, the gravy train was too big, with too much 